Hello, my name is Leopoldo Armesto and in this presentation I will provide some useful resources, materials and some recommendations for this course. This is the outline of the presentation. First, I will show you some tutorials and blogs with lots of contents of related topics. Then I will present three recommended boards as well as shields and additional electronics to use in this course. At the end of the presentation, I will provide some basic recommendation about how to work with this type of electronics. We have created a full tutorial with written documentation with topics worked along this course at Robotica Facil webpage. This is a small size company to col uh, I collaborate with, so if you access to this URL, you will see additional information which is suited to follow this course. Obviously, there are other tutorials and blog sites full of details and examples. As you can see, I put here some of them, the ones I consider they are the best for you, but I'm sure that you will see many other places with specific information. In order to complete this course, you will need some electronics. The main decision is to select the board. This will condition the remainder of decisions and it is still preliminary to decide but here uh, there are some uh, boards that we recommend. My suggestion is to wait until we have a better understanding why we prefer to use the Wemos D1R32 instead of, for instance, the Arduino board. All these details will be provided in next videos. For those who are willing to know more about the cost of electronics in Robotica Facil webpage, we have created a set of bundles with recommended electronics that you can buy. All details are given in the video description. Together with the board, it is recommended to buy a shield with some basic electronics. In this course, we will use a multi-sensor shield that we will describe in detail later. Because of its price and the amount of sensors available, this will be the hardware that we will use in our videos. Alternatively, you can use generic expansion shields to provide access to all pins and individual models with different kind of sensors and actuators. These are some of the electronics that I recommend to, to use in this course and they are not included in the multi-sensor shield. In particular, I suggest to use a relay with a fan, a servo motor, an LCD display or even a gas sensor. Also, for the second part of the course, we will use other electronics such as a light dimmer, an OLED display and a moist sensor. Arduino-based electronics are prone to several types of troubleshooting issues that we must know in advance so we can easily identify the source of our problems and propose a solution to them. First thing to know is that we should know that each sensor and actuator works how it works before uh, using them in their optimal condition. One of the most important things to watch out are the source circuits, so please double check connections before powering your device. Since it is a low cost electronics, this means that it can be easily damaged if not properly used. Fortunately, if it's damaged, the cost for replacement is not expensive. Another important aspect to consider when working with Arduino-based electronics are programming issues. If it's not properly programmed or configured, it won't work. You need to check uh, you have selected the correct pin number, the port and the processor, for instance, or that you don't have a driver or a library install issue. Sensors and actuators might require proper timing which means that before using the same instruction, you need to wait until the sensor or the actuator is ready for that. Obviously, the logic of the program must be correct and we need to use instructions properly to check uh, the help of each instruction. Finally, uh, the issue might be because we, uh, not, it's not ready with programming but with communication. So we need to check, for instance, the USB baud rate, baud rate or uh, when working with uh, Bluetooth, we need to check if it's spare or when Wi-Fi, when you're using Wi-Fi, uh, the network has uh, to have the appropriate setup and there are no firewall issues uh, to avoid uh, data transfer. 
In this presentation, I have provided you some useful resources shown, some materials to be used, and some recommendations. Thank you.